Hey, what's happening there, folks? G the Hat Guy here. Back at you with another awesome hat video. All right. Uh, for this video, we're going to be discussing budget-friendly hats to elevate your style. Again, the title is Budget-Friendly Hats to Elevate Your Style. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Um you know for this video uh when you watch this video till the end whatnot uh you should have some better insight on you know what types of hat uh you know will be a little bit more affordable whatnot that you know you don't want to sacrifice style you still want to maintain a nice level of style you know on the budget whatnot it's not too cheap it's not too high price you know kind of like a medium range you know what not uh, budget friendly you know type hats whatnot that's the whole purpose about this video here whatnot so uh, when you watch the video to the end hopefully you have a better insight and you're more knowledgeable uh, about uh, what type of hats will kind of work for you so let's get right into the video okay uh, the first one I have for you here is going to be this one here this particular hat with this particular manufacturer it comes in several different colors it's a really popular style okay uh, it's all wool you know this is wool it's not fur felt uh, typically you know wool is more budget friendly than fur felt what not you know and several different manufacturers out there now have their own versions of this kind of hat you know the brim size is about uh, say about two and uh, five eighths inch you know uh, I'm sorry uh, one and five eighths inch it's not quite you know up to uh, up to two inches you know I said at least one, one five eighths or probably one and uh, three quarter inch brim somewhere around there okay it's not too wide uh, but you got a nice feather on there you know got a nice center dent two pinches in the front it's just kind of folded over and sewn it's got that uh that bound edge right there you know it's not a binded edge with a binding with the ribbon but it's bound over it's folded over and sewn there so like I said several different manufacturers have their own version of this typically retail this will run you on sale probably around that 65 you know on the high end you'll be looking at about that 85 range you know you get anywhere between 65 and 85 for something like this okay and uh, yeah so it's a very nice hat and uh, you know, it's got a nice center dent and the good thing about this particular kind of wool is uh, you can actually uh, if you're traveling or something like that you know it's a special kind of wool process that they use with this particular wool with this manufacturer um, you know and some other manufacturers out there they're trying to copy or come up with their own version they call it a different name you know whatnot but uh, yeah you can actually this is very packable this is a uh, a lighter kind of wool that's packable you know whatnot so if you're traveling or something you can actually pack it with your clothes and stuff like that and they'll kind of bounce right back into shape you know it's a very unique kind of wool process uh you know patented process uh wool uh that they use for this uh, particular hat but very nice so that's the first one I'm gonna show you the same hat in a uh, in a different color here. It's the same hat in this forest green, olive green mix uh, color we have here. See, this has got the specks in there. It's got a little bit of yellow, some burgundy, you know, that darker shade of forest green in there as well. It's got a little bit of white speck there. Same thing, center dent, two pinches in the front. Got that folded over brim. And this one has an adjustable uh, sizer in it, you know, in the back. So it has like a Velcro sizing where you can adjust the size. It has a piece of Velcro, you see. So if you need like a tighter fit or a looser fit, you can actually adjust it here with the Velcro. Okay, you see that? So you can actually adjust the sizing on this one. You can't do that on the other one. But it's the same hat, whatnot. So yeah, with this particular version of it, they added a little extra touch with the sizing. You can adjust the size with the Velcro on this one here. But yeah, uh, 
And she's got that, again, that uh, tweed type effect with the multiple color specks in there. And that wool, you see that? Yeah, very nice touch. So wait for something different and whatnot. Yeah, so you see that? Okay. So, yeah. Um, very nice. Again, it's got pops, you know, uh, in spots of different colors in there. You know, besides the green. Whatnot. Very nice. Again, budget-friendly hat, you know. Uh, like I said, there are quite a few manufacturers that have the, their own version of this hat. You know, again, it's a special kind of wool that uh, bounces right back into shape. You know, you can pack it with your clothes, stuff like that if you're traveling. You don't have to worry about squashing it, that kind of stuff. So, very nice, unique hat. Um, you yeah, check with your local hat shop out there or your local online retailer for hats. Your uh, favorite online retailer. Okay, the next one I have here, you know, something like this. You know, this has got the, uh, you know, again, this is wool, another entry level type, you know, hat. This has got more of a uh, teardrop top on it. It's got two pictures in the front. It's got a contrast, different color band, you know, like a whiskey brown type color band on there. You know, the brim size, again, is uh, maybe about a quarter, uh, about an inch and a half, uh, brim size or so on there, not quite uh, two inches, about an inch and a half or so, um, yeah, fedora style, it's another one, and you could get these, you know, with a little bit wider brim, okay, the wider brim might cost you a little bit more, uh, it just depends, but yeah, you could get them, you know, these wool uh, hats, uh, you know, entry level type hats, whatnot, you can get them. You should be able to get them in uh, wider brands too, whatnot, out there, depending on the manufacturer. Folks, uh, if you're learning something, you're being entertained with this video, please support the channel by subscribing to the channel. Bring you awesome hat content from G the Hat Guy channel. Also, follow us on Instagram. It's G the Hat Guy, same name. And on Facebook, we are trying to grow our Facebook hat group okay it's a social hat group it's called the hatters lounge just like it sounds hatters h-a-t-t-e-r-s lounge l-o-u-n-g-e the hatters lounge by g the hat guy that's the name of the group okay so search for that on facebook send me a request to join the group i'll approve your request you can post your own pictures of your hats your hat collection all that good stuff okay on there and uh no spam okay it's a private group no spam please just uh you know nice fun hat pictures you know if you want to post pictures yourself you know wearing your hats that's fine as well okay so thumbs up the video share the video with somebody else who can benefit from this type of content okay the next one let's see here we have this one here okay it's another contrast band one. It's got a center dent, two pinches in the front. Same color band as that other one. This one's got a, just a center dent as opposed to a teardrop top. Again, this is wool. You know, retail again, something like this. You probably might be looking in that 75, you know, 75 range, you know, between 65, 75, 80 range. Again, depending on the manufacturer, you know, whatnot. Um, but yeah, these are popular entry level type hats, whatnot. So again, this is wool. This is just a regular type wool with this particular manufacturer, whatnot. Uh, yeah, so these are, again, budget, you know, um, hats that you can, uh, you know, still maintain some good style with, okay? It's not totally like you know it's not like on the low end of the spectrum like totally low quality you know what not just looks cheap you know uh, but it's just medium you know and, and and it's not really like on a high end where it's expensive you know really well I want to say expensive but you know a little bit more 
for the value of what you're getting, like fur felts. When you start getting into fur felts, you're getting more for value, so that's going to cost you more like anything else. So, yeah, that's this one here. Okay, that's another one, yeah. And I'll show you something else here. Let's see, the next one we have here. This one for like your, uh, you know, the spring and summer, you have the Toyo straw. This is a Toyo paper straw hat, okay? Uh, typically, it will cost a little bit more than your uh, regular paper straw, okay, which is really, really on a lower, much lower end, whatnot. Uh, but yeah, like a Toyo straw, you know, it's like a medium range. You know, you can get you something like this, probably anywhere. I said between 40 to, uh, you know, about 65, you know, close to $70, depending on the manufacturer, depending on the type of hat, you know. We get them on wider brims as well, and different types of uh, dents and creases. You get it with a teardrop, you know, just with a center dent. You can get it with a diamond top, you know, you get it with, uh, uh, if you like, like a, uh, Cattleman's grease, open rope style, that kind of thing. So, yeah, this is what it told you a straw. Again, that's for the spring and summer. You know, it's got a contrast black band, beige here. You know, something decent. Yeah, most definitely. It's got that uh, woven polyester sweatband on the inside here. Okay. Yeah, so this is not a Panama straw, of course, or so like a hemp like a hemp woven hemp straw which are much higher quality you know but again you know if you're on a budget the toyo paper straw this is a good option okay as opposed to going with like a uh, 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 a paper just a regular paper straw hat too you know which is uh, on, the, on the lowest end of the spectrum there but yeah like a toyo paper straw you know still decent you know, on, on a budget, what now, like I said, anywhere between that 40, uh, 40 to 70, 75, somewhere around there, depending on the hat, you know, that kind of stuff, you know, so, you know, get you something really nice for a spring, summer option. Folks, uh, if you learn something, you're enjoying the video, being entertained, just go ahead and subscribe to the channel. We've got great, awesome content for you. Like, share the video, give it a thumbs up. Check us out on Instagram. It's G the Hat Guy. On Facebook, join our Facebook group. We're trying to grow that. Okay, it's the Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy, just like it sounds. The Hatter's Lounge by G the Hat Guy on Facebook. Search for that. Send me a request. I'll go ahead and approve your request. You can post your own pictures and images of your hats. You wearing your hats, your hat collection, all that good stuff. No spam, please, okay? No spam. Also, check the link. I'm going to put a link in the description of this video for uh, uh, other videos that uh, you might find entertaining. Check out our channel. Click on our channel. Check out the rest of our videos that we have there, okay? And check out our playlist as well. We have uh, different playlists for different types of uh, categories of hat videos. Check out our playlist and watch some of our other videos as well. You can learn something from so thank you very much. appreciate your time. This is G the Hat Guy again, signing out with another awesome hat video. Uh, I really appreciate your, uh, your time. Thank you. Signing out. Bye-bye.